Happy Friday! It's Friday. Uh huh. It's Friday. So, on my way to work. Almost there. But real quick, I want to discuss something with you guys um, this morning. I was watching, I think they're sisters. Um, and they're very, it's, it's, they're very, I don't want to use the word religious. I mean, they're Christians. But they're very, it's, it's, it's a religious channel, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, they talk about God and, you know, the, the Bible and, and this and that. And I, I love their channel. But last night, I felt that, and I'm not going to say the name because God doesn't work like that. Okay? He does things decent in order. All right? But last night, I felt that their message was lost because they started to add, like, the little opinions in almost name call and make fun of. And I don't think God works like that. I know God doesn't work like that. <laughs> Not even think. I know he doesn't work like that. Um, so the Holy, it, it bothered me because the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, how I want you to deliver my message, how I want you to share my message to the world, to the lost, and even those that are found, but they need a little encouragement along the way by watching your walk is, first of all, you bring that message Biblically, exactly how it is in the Bible. Don't add your salt and pepper in your accent to it. But you deliver it love. Make sure your intent is pure. That means you make sure your motive is, is pure in delivering it. And when I and how I know this wasn't their video wasn't it wasn't meshing with my with with me or the Holy Spirit was because there was a there was a spirit of almost like jealousy <laughs> um mockery and if i was if, if i was an unbeliever i didn't know about christ i wasn't following christ and i would have tuned into their channel last night just somehow i stumbled across it i would have gotten turned off i would have because i would have said gosh these these women they sound so mean like um is this how is this the god they serve is this, you know, and how, and the message they were bringing was about, I'm pulling over, um, cause I happened a little early, was about pastors and how they dress. Now, let me say this. That was my heater. It's cold here in Florida. Let me say this. We as Christians are supposed to dress modestly. That is biblical. We're not supposed to be flashy. Okay. We are supposed to dress modest. That is in the Bible. Now, a lot of Christians don't don't follow anymore like the old days. I've always had that spirit of being modest in my in my apparel. I've never been one to dress um, seductively, you know, and flashy, regardless of how much money I have, regardless of my body size. I've just I've never been that. That's in, that has never been inside me. Maybe because how I was brought up. But that's just never been. There's some people who don't feel that way. But the Bible does give guidelines how you're supposed to dress. That being said, that being said, if we're going to speak on it, you speak on it like how I just did. I just told you what the Bible said, right? Did I mention names of people that have huge platforms? So did I mock them? But you got the message, didn't you? So if you are watching my channel and you're someone who maybe dresses kind of sexy, you know, but you're following Christ, maybe now you might say, oh, let me, let me look at that in the Bible. Oh, am I not representing Christ, the how I dress? Without mentioning someone's name, that's delivering the message out of love. I'm not making fun of anybody. I'm definitely not putting uh, my, my mouth on anybody's ministry because of how they dressed, regardless of what my opinion is thinking regardless of what my opinion is thinking it's not to be shared like that okay so the holy spirit is strongly strongly told me watch how you deliver my message i even i said in my intro i believe i said in my intro but i know i've already said it in my videos 
My purpose is to draw new souls to Christ and to encourage others who are also on this journey with me by walking with me, looking at my mistakes, looking at what I'm learning. I'm learning every day. Last night, watching those those two sisters, those two women, I don't know if they're sisters, but watching those two women on that religious platform, the Holy Spirit spoke to me about how I'm supposed to deliver. And I and and that's definitely something that has I've been working on. You know, I used to be very judgmental. And we all have a little judgment inside of us. But the Holy Spirit again says to me, make sure you get out the plank in your eye. Make sure you get yours out first. Then go to your brother. Out of love, you go to your brother. Okay? Now, I've never had, like I said, a problem with dressing seductively or just not humble and meek and modest. So, I do. I could go to my brother. I'm not blasting them on social media because that's definitely not in love. But I could go to my brother, maybe in my church or in my in my network, if I saw, you know, like, hey, um, let's let, can I talk to you about something? You know, you know what I'm saying. That's you see how you how you deliver with, with it makes a difference. It makes a difference. So that's just something that that really stuck with me last night. I I didn't even sleep well last night. I don't know because of that. I just sleep well last night. I don't know why. I feel okay this morning. But um, that just, yeah, that kind of shook me up. Now, I didn't unsubscribe, you know, because I'm not a snowflake Christian. And, you know, they even calling Christians names. Like, that's not, <laughs> no, no, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that on this platform, you know. Uh, we're going to deliver messages without name calling, making people feel like crummy about their walk because we're all learning. There's ways to say things, people, and that is so important. Look, Christians already have a bad rap right now, right? We're so quick to call people out. We're so quick to call people out, but we're doing things. See, that's something that the world would do. That's something mean, you know, name-calling, mockery, making fun of people, embarrassing people, because... I would be embarrassed if I was one of the people whose names they call and I just happened. And don't think people with big platforms are not on YouTube and things like that. You will be amazed how people can come, especially if you're, you're hashtagging or anything like that. You never know, but I would be embarrassed. You know what I'm saying? So, again, I said all that to say this. Us as Christians... We know God is love. It's not it's not just about that. But we are supposed to deliver our message in love. And we're supposed to deliver it decent and in order and not confusion. Because that is a Bible. That is the biblical way of doing things. So again, pray for me, pray for my journey. I pray for you. And let's work on something that let's let's work on that. Let's work on that because God knows I don't want anybody to come across my channel and not come again because of how I deliver something. You know, now if I'm telling the truth and I'm doing it out of love and the whole, I'm being completely led by the Holy Spirit, that's different. That's different. But I want people to leave my channel differently than how they came to it closer to God okay and change for the better so I am sitting at work it's been a 13 hour day I'm exhausted I'm exhausted so um yeah I have nothing to say <laughs> I just wanted to close out the day's vlog so super busy, super, super busy, um, but proud of my day. And in everything you do, you give thanks to God and you do it to your best ability, you know, the best ability. So if you like your job, you don't like your job, which I, I love my job, but um, we all have the desire to, well, maybe we don't, maybe we all don't, but I have the desire to go back to entrepreneurial life make my own hours and my own paycheck. But 
until then, this definitely will suffice, and I'm grateful. So, I will catch y'all tomorrow. Ta-ta.